How you doing today? Welcome to Mo's Math. Today we're going to talk about a little rigging and we're going to discuss why a 60 degree sling angle is your preferred industry standard for lifting and hoisting. This configuration below is an example of a two-part bridle sling with the straps chokered on the load. It reduces the tension at 60 degrees. The tension on each sling leg is approximately 1.155 times the vertical share of the load. That load there is 1,000 pounds. How do you know when you have a 60 degree angle? Well, this angle is achieved when the length of the sling legs is equal to the horizontal distance between the attachment points on the load. The best way to lay this out is to take your first strap you put on the load, take the sling on, and lay it down on the load. Where the end is, mark that point. That point is where you put your second strap. So here's, here's your strap. Lay the strap on the pipe, and at the end of the strap, mark it, and that's where you're going to put your second choker. Now what you've created is a 60 degree sling angle horizontal to that pipe. Or load. So by laying the end of that strap on the pipe what we've done is actually created an equilateral triangle which is a triangle with three equal sides and three equal angles each measuring 60 degrees. So the last thing to do to understand the problem is to take your 60 degree sling multiplier which is 1.155 and times it by half the load. So half the load is 500 pounds, times it by that, and that will give you the actual load on that sling. So each sling has 577 pounds on it because of the sling multiplier. And check your tags on your slings. They should be readable. And something that's not always said, keep your tags up by the hook. Keep them up by the hook. You don't want them in the choker configuration because after a little, little bit of use, you won't be able to read them. So keep them up by the hook. Hope you like this. There'll be more of this to come. Talk to you soon.